So I want to talk to you today about minimally invasive surgery of the foot and ankle. Essentially, techniques have been developed uh, in the last 10 to 12 years, whereby operations that were previously done through large incisions with consequent soft tissue stripping, bruising, swelling and pain can now be performed through tiny incisions under x-ray control. I myself have been involved in the development and popularization of these techniques. Essentially, the surgeries that are performed are bunion surgery, hammer toe surgery, treatment for metatarsalgia or pain under the metatarsal heads, uh, correction of Achilles tendon problems and flat foot reconstruction. There are other lesser known surgeries and more complex surgeries uh, which can also be performed minimally invasively now such as midfoot and hindfoot fusions. The technique of minimally invasive surgery um, has been performed by myself for about 10 years. I've now performed well over 1,000 minimally invasive bunion or hallux valgus corrections. Patients very much like this because the hospital stay is shorter, they can mobilize very quickly, pain, swelling and bruising are minimal. The cosmetic results are excellent and there's usually less stiffness in the big toe joint when compared to the results of open surgery, which I've also performed many thousands of in the more distant past. When minimally invasive surgery is performed, patients can get back into their own footwear and return to sport more quickly than open. Also with hammer toes, the operation is essentially the same as the open, but with tiny incisions and small cuts made in the bone under x-ray TV or image intensifier to guide the surgeon uh, to make these uh, incisions in the correct position. Furthermore, metatarsal necks can be cut with tiny incisions and, and the heel bone can also be cut through a five centimeter incision to realign the heel as part of flat foot reconstructive surgery. The operation techniques are also useful for removal of bony bumps and healing of diabetic ulcers in the sole of the foot and also for removal of Haglin deformity, which is a large bump on the back of the heel, which can cause problems with the Achilles. Therefore, it can be seen that there's quite a wide range of operations that can now be performed minimally invasively, safely, and with very little inconvenience to the patient. Further techniques have been developed, such as midfoot fusion and hindfoot fusions, which are less commonly performed, but are equally advantageous over their open uh, corollaries.